What makes this full moon different from other full moons this year? So what makes this full moon different is that it's going to be the closest full moon of the calendar year. As we all know, the moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle, so this is when the moon is going to be at its closest approach. Um, of course, uh, the moon, when it uh, orbits around the Earth, changes in apparent size to viewers on the Earth. So uh, over the weekend, we're going to have the closest full moon, the perigee full moon. And um, it's going to appear about 14% larger, 30% brighter than the smallest full moon of the year. Uh, so it should be a noticeable, noticeable difference for people who are used to looking at the moon. And this isn't the only supermoon of the year, right? Is this is this the closest? Um, but it's because there was I think there was a supermoon last month, and I think there's supposed to be one coming up next month too. Yeah, the, the definition of supermoon has gotten a little muddied. Uh, this is the supermoon, the superest supermoon. The the two full moons around this one are also close, but not the closest. So you know by the strict definition of a supermoon or a perigee full moon, this one this weekend is going to be the closest full moon of the year. The others are spectacular, but not quite as close as this one. And so how close is that? How, how many more miles towards the Earth is the So it's a, it's, a very, oh, it's a very subtle difference. Um, it's only on the scale of a, of a few, actually tens of kilometers closer than other full moons in the, the course of the year. Um, of course, you know the, the moon's orbit is actually pretty close to being a perfect circle, so it's not a, a tremendous difference. But again, for people who are trained at looking at the moon and look at the moon a lot, you might actually notice a difference. But of course, it's also just a wonderful time, if it's clear, to get out and look at the moon. So what, what can observers on the ground expect to see? I mean, are, do you have any tips or any times to, to go out during the night to be able to see um, the, the moon in all, in all its glory? Yeah. I think the best time to go out is uh, right after sunset, sun, uh, when the moon is rising in the east. Um, if you have a clear horizon, get out and, and check it out. Uh, it should be a great show. Of course, any time at night when the moon is high in the sky is a wonderful time as well. Right, and I so the the moon is actually kind of running up against the the Perseid meteor shower this year. Um, so, do you, when does the moon set? Do you have any tips for for people that might want to get a clear view of the of the meteor shower? Yeah, that's going to be tough. With the full moon being so bright, it's going to wash out some of the meteor shower. Unfortunately, because it is a full moon, it's going to be setting just about as when the Earth is, uh, the sun is about to rise, so you're not going to have a lot of darkness. My suggestion would be to wait until potentially early next week as the Perseids start to tail off, possibly. Um, the moon is going to be less full, less bright, and there you might be treated to a, a better Perseid show. It is this unfortunate coincidence in time that these two things are happening now, but... Um, it's a good time for sky watchers. <laughs> Great. And then is there anything special or strange that, that happens during a supermoon? Are, are tidal forces any, any greater? Or is it all kind of the same? <laughs> yeah, the, any effects on the Earth are, are so subtle, probably not even noticeable. Maybe the only effect of the supermoon is that uh, the next morning a lot of people are going to be waking up with stiff necks, having spent so much time looking up into the sky. Uh, apart from that, though, there be, should be no noticeable effect. If nobody was aware of this, uh, nobody looked at the moon, you wouldn't notice or, or feel any difference. <laughs> Great. Well, I think that's about all we have time for. Uh, so thank you so much for chatting with me. Really appreciate it, Noah. Well, thank you very much.